Okay, so on to question. Ka for benzoic acid is 6.5 times 10 to the negative 5. Calculate the pH of a 0 0.1 molar benzoic acid solution. Okay, so I'll draw the structure of benzoic acid. You have a benzene ring with Arboxylic acid attached to it. So this is C six H five C O O H. And when it dissociates into ions, It is deprotonated, so we get C6H5COO- plus a proton. Okay, so next uh, we need to construct an ice table. So ice is the initial, the change, and then at equilibrium. So we start off with uh, a 0 0.1 molar solution of benzoic acid. So the initial concentration of the benzoic acid solution is the 0 0.1, so I'm going to put 0 0.1 under its initial column, or the initial row. And then for the concentration of our products, uh, at the start of the reaction, we start off with no product, so their initial concentrations are 0. And then for the change, the reactant changes by minus x, and both of the products change by plus x. So at equilibrium, for benzoic acid, its concentration is equal to 0 0.1 minus x, and for both of our products, their concentrations will be equal to x at equilibrium. Okay, so they give us the Ka value, which is equal to 6.5 times 10 to the negative 5. And the Ka value can also be expressed in terms of the concentrations. So it is the concentration of our products. which is the deprotonated benzoic acid times the concentration of protons in solution divided by the concentration of our reactant, which is benzoic acid. Okay, so let me sub in the values that we know. We know Ka is equal to 6.5 times 10 to the negative 5. And at equilibrium, we know that both the concentrations of our products is equal to x. So when you multiply x times x, you get x squared. And the concentration of our reactant, 0 0.1 minus x at equilibrium. So now we just need to solve for x. So let me rewrite this equation uh, as a quadratic formula. So we have x squared plus 6.5 times 10 to the negative 5 x plus uh, 6.5 times 10 to the negative 5 times 0 
which is 6.5 times 10 to the negative uh, 4, I believe, or negative 6, sorry. Went the wrong way. Okay, so this is our quadratic of, we're left with this quadratic uh, formula. So in order to solve for x, we can either plug it in to a quadratic equation calculator, or you can do it by hand uh, if you memorized it from high school. But you'll end up getting an x value. And we want to look at the positive value since we can't have a negative concentration. So x will end up being equal to 2.52 times 10 to the negative 3. So this x value is also equal to the concentration of our H+. Plus. So therefore, to solve for pH, this is equal to negative log of the concentration of our H plus ion. So we just need to sub in our value for x which was 2.52 times 10 to the negative 3. So you should get a pH equal to 2.6. This is very acidic. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. The dissociation of benzoic acid is given by C6H5COOH, uh, which produces C6H5COO minus plus H plus. Hence, the pH can be calculated using the equation pH is equal to negative log of the concentration of H plus. Concentration of the H plus ions needed to calculate the pH can be determined from the expression for the equilibrium constant, which is given by Ka is equal to the following. To determine the concentrations at equilibrium, we will construct an ice table as follows. Okay, so they show their ice table, the initial, the change, and the equilibrium. Substituting 6.5 times 10 to the negative 5 for Ka, and the equilibrium values from the ice table. They got the following. And then they have their quadratic formula. And ended up with x is equal to 2.52 times 10 to the negative 3, which is equal to the concentration of our H plus ions. Substituting this into the equation for pH, we get 2.6. Okay, so this solution is correct. I think we have time for one more question.